Yes. Hello. What is up? Woo. Man, that was I I was close. <laughs> I ran to the restroom and like had to go right at the last minute. Well, here yeah. I am. Here you are. We are live. Here we are. We are live. So <sighs> exciting. If uh, you're joining us live in the chat, uh, say hello over there. Type in, you know, where you're watching from. Um, you know, let us let us know what is good in your world. John, you have a different <laughs> backdrop than you normally do today. I do. <laughs> I, uh, I'm getting some renovations done on my office. I shared about it a little in my stories, but I am in the upstairs playroom which is also being renovated so i had to lay some rugs down and there's a mattress right there to make it a little less echoey yeah yeah. i'm just running around like crazy i'm not gonna not gonna lie but i am super stoked about today because it is our second live film review and i'm appreciative of you that are here live and the people that are watching later thanks for being here did you already ask them yeah we've got people from michigan montana raleigh north carolina Canada, uh, Canada, all kinds of people here. All Welcome people. to so, how many people do we have live right we, now? We're right, right now we're hit, hitting at 30, uh, about yeah, 30 people Idaho. in here. Yeah, I've got a screen over here. So if you see me doing this, Nick, yeah, I figured me looking I figured at the comments, mine's mine's right here. Mine's right here. So, okay. um, anyway, off to the side. So, uh, what we want to do, Blake's going to go ahead and throw up some slides here. Blake, thank you for being our behind the scenes guy today. As always, Hi, Blake. we do this. Um, we we're, we want to let you know how the film reviews are going to work and what we are going to be doing here. So uh, again, uh, these are live wedding film reviews. Uh, we do these once a month, and we are very excited to be here and do those uh, with you all. Uh, so how 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 this is all going to work? We are going to sit down here, and we are all going to watch a film together. We have a few queued up, and uh, John's going to watch. I'm going to talk, watch, and we're going to kind of take some notes. We're going to write some <clears> things <throat> down, and then afterwards, John and I are going to sit here and chat about them just a little bit. John, we have five different categories that we are judging these films on and critiquing these films on. Why don't you share what those are? I will. Let me pull them up. Let me find them. Here they are. Okay. Okay. So the first one is cinematography. Uh, We're going to be looking at camera movement, creativity, composition, technique, fundamentals, just overall how you shot this film. What what Mm -hmm. was your technique? Did it draw me in? Did it pull me away? Was there a camera movement that was supposed to be there? Um, So the cinematography, just the actual skill of how you've shot the wedding. The next thing is your audio and sound design. Uh, The quality of the recording, the audio, the clarity, the sound design itself with sound effects or just Mm -hmm. different. um, The design, how you've pulled in sound and audio to help tell your story. Um, Just the whole technique, the sound effects themselves um, and just the way you captured and created something with the audio. The next thing is editing, uh, your pacing, your creativity, the technique, your flow, your skill. Are you creating something that is, uh, you know, next level? Is it is it bringing me in and causing me to really um, want to watch more? And that leads into story, which is the next category. Are you pulling in emotion? Is there storytelling? Um, is it captivating? Is it depth? Could we just use mannequins and replace the couple and it would be the same as the next film? Um, What is the story of these people? We want to know their story or the story that you're trying to tell us even. Um, It might be a story of the venue. It might be a story of whatever, them getting to this day. And then the last thing, um, which I think is really important, is color. And this is something I've been really diving into this year. Uh, The cohesiveness of color um, throughout the film itself. Does it match? Does there all kinds of temperature changes between the same kinds of clips in the same locations, just the technique um, of how you've color graded is, are things blown out? Are they, um, you know, crushed, whatever, does it enhance the film? Is your, are are you using color grading with skill? So cinematography, audio, editing, story, and color. Those are the things. Yeah. So those are the five categories and we just want to break down really quick what those 
what those things mean and how the point structure works. So each <clears throat> uh, film is worth a total of 50 points. John does 25, I do 25, then we kind of talk about it. Um, maybe we can change each other's minds just a little bit on how that works. Um, and here's how each thing is going to work. So each category, there's five categories. Each category is worth five points. F a five is going to be like next level um stuff, stuff that, uh, you know, it, really exceptional. Okay. Uh, way, way above the industry standard of, of any, of whatever you're putting out there, the, the cinematography, the audio, the editing story or color way, way, way above, um, industry standard. A four is going to be really, really good. It's above industry standard. Not many people are doing four type work. Okay. And then a three, and we needed to kind of make a baseline on this. We're saying that a three is industry standard. The last time we did this, there were a few people in our chat that were like, they only got a three. This deserved this. We are saying that a great, a really solid, a good, good wedding film is a three. It's kind of industry standard. And then a two is going to be below industry standard. Uh, you know, maybe you need to work on this a little bit. Uh, there's going to be some tweaks and some things that you can do. And then one is, you know, very below industry standard and uh, needs a lot of work uh, to do uh, what it is. And so those are the five categories and that's how we're rating it. Remember a three, so a 30 if someone gets a 30, we're considering that a very good industry standard film. Okay. Yeah. So don't feel bad if, if that's your rating system. And then we wanted to give some awards away with this, uh, kind of like our version of a certified fresh from Rotten Tomatoes. And so if you get a 38 or higher on score, we're going to consider that an honorable, an honorable distinction. And we're going to get you a badge for your website. And uh, if you get a 45, then we're saying that it's going to be an official how to film wedding selection and uh, you're going to get a badge for your website. And uh, I think we're going to feature you on our Instagram account, not our YouTube or not our YouTube, our website. Uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Exactly. There. Anything you want to add with that? Nope. That's really uh, good. Okay. Okay. And um, yeah, another thing that we want to touch base on really quick is uh, the program we launched, our subscription program we launched last month, How to Film Weddings Plus. John, why don't you take a second to chat about yeah. How to Film Weddings Plus? How to Film Weddings Plus. Yeah, we we launched it last month. I think there's 60 or 70 of you that joined already. So thanks for doing that. Um, yeah, we wanted a place for a little bit extra um, uh, for you. I think it's what, $7.99 a month, Nick, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. to join that. It puts you at front of the line. Um, for some of these film reviews, if you want your film reviewed. Um, so that's, you know, that's a big thing to, to get that uh, special promo codes on items and things in our store. We're about to release our complete wedding videography course soon. And we'll have a special promo code for you for that. We'll, that will actually, if you're going to buy the course, it'll save you pretty much the whole year worth of HTFW plus. Um, and then we do, we're doing like once a month, um, f wedding film breakdowns live as well. I did uh, a recent film I shot out in Guatemala. We broke that down. Um, we had lots of people on for that asking questions and we're breaking down what we shot, how we shot it, answering all the questions, open books, so you can learn from us as we're learning as well. Um, a lot of other great things. Nick, is there still a promo code for the HTFW Plus? No, there's no there's no promo code. It's just okay. set up so you get the first month free. So if you go to htfwplus.com and sign up, you can get that first month absolutely for free to see if you think it's worth it. Yep. Today, and, it, and we think it is worth it. Um, today, before we get in here, we want to let you know of our sponsor uh, for today's live film review, and that is going to be Vidflow. Uh, Vidflow is the uh, delivery platform that both John and I exclusively use for our wedding films. And so this, you can see it up on screen, is when I went to South Africa earlier this year, and this is the gallery um, Vidflow, pr the presentation of it. Um, it's really incredible. It looks so nice. You, your clients can download their films right there from uh, from the platform. You can even share it on your TV. Uh, there's a play all button. It's a really great player. One of the best things that, in my opinion, about VidFlow is it is a pay per project thing. So you don't have to pay for months or for uh, times in the season when you're not actually using it. So you're not mm -hmm. paying ahead of time. <clears throat> uh, and, and then there's a lot of uh, special bonus features that they have with it, like moving backgrounds and some premium features, some things that uh, 
will really enhance the, the client experience, the user experience. And so if you, there's a QR code on the screen, or if you go to howtofilmweddings.com slash vidflow, you can read more about it. And if you get a uh, yearly business membership, we can save, save you 20% off of that with the promo code HTFW20. John, do you have anything you want to share about vidflow? I love it. I know you love it uh, before we get started here. Yeah, I love the the idea that I can upload these films and the couples can download the 4K versions of them. They can watch mm -hmm. in 4K. Um, and then also just we know the owners of the company. They're awesome. They're working behind the scenes doing a lot of things for us wedding filmmakers. Um, but I love just embedding uh, how I can embed it right into my website and create mm -hmm. johnbunfilms.com slash Jimmy and Susie. And I can send that to the couple. And it just it continues that experience all the way through the end. So big fans of VidFlow. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we are right now. Um, it is time to jump into our <clears throat> uh, film review. So first up, we have Bess Ophelia Films, and uh, this is one that was submitted. And so we are going to hit play on this. You guys watch with us. We're going to keep some scores and stuff, and then we are going to chat about it here in a little bit. So Blake, hit play whenever you're ready. We were uh, living in an old apartment in West Campus that still had a wood-burning fireplace. I woke up in the middle of the night to a commotion, flung open my door, and I just got smacked in the face with a wall of smoke. And so I stopped, dropped, and rolled my way into the living room to where I found Jake and Hannah just trying to corral this fire they'd made. And as the legend goes, those were the flames that ignited Jake and Hannah's love for one another. You gave me time, you gave me something to believe in. Smile, this is good. face another weekend. Fake another cry and feeling older. Read some other words to win me over. And at a fateful Omicron late night in roughly 2013, she saw Jake Baird from across the room. And she said, I want that one. <laughs> you know, the guy that does his choreographed dance to NSYNC and knows every word to every 50 Cent song. <laughs> That's interesting. I didn't see that coming. Uh... Mind is ever sleeping. Complicate the truth I'm never given. Hesitating every single moment. Jake, you are the easiest person to be around that I have ever met. Your steadiness is the perfect foil for my little empath sister who feels everything so very deeply. <laughs> I cannot imagine what is going on in her heart right now. <laughs> and we became polar opposites in many ways. He was always smart and driven, while I was burdened with superior athleticism and striking at luck. <laughs> Overall, Jake's role as a hero has never wavered for me. I've always been proud to call him my brother and it's evident the impact that Hannah has had on him. She makes him happy in ways that I never could. <laughs> it's upside down. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. Hannah, I wish I had your talent with written words so I could accurately express how much you mean to me. I love you so much and wake up every day the luckiest man alive because I get to spend another day with you. Mm. There is no one I'd rather do nothing with. From chair days to traveling the world, every day with you is better than the last. You are smart, you are beautiful, you are funny, and you are so kind. I can't wait to call you my wife. And this is the only the beginning. I'll see you at the altar. Love, Jake. Mm. It's really sweet. <laughs> Trying not to fall in love with you was like clinging to a cliff face. Charming, smart, warm, goofy, brutally handsome, <laughs> undeniably loyal, quietly compassionate. When you come to one of the moments in your life where you must provide a ledger of who you are and what you have meant to this world, do not discount that you are the axis on which my world turns. And the foundation of my joy and my favorite reminder of how good it can get. He made 
made it through Macombs with a master's in accounting, that accomplishment pales in the comparison of him co convincing Hannah Bangs to marry him. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah Bangs is his ultimate goal, and it's, and it's it, that, that's the pinnacle. I mean, once you get there, once you get there, that's about as high as you can go, you know? Jake, this might make it official, but you've always been a part of the family. I mean, love you. you I see the way you look at Hannah. I know you're going to take care of her, and that, as a dad, means everything. And I mean, I think everyone that just saw you tonight just, yeah, knows it was meant to, oh, okay, hang on. <laughs> Not crying yet, okay. Think you like it? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. Where's the rest of it? I know. I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Love that framing. Sorry. I do. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> look at you. so handsome. <laughs> you look so nice. Look at your fancy shoes. Hi. Hi. Yeah. To the Super Bowl, baby. Yeah, we gotta to go. The Superhuman friend, accepting of all, equal parts sweet and spicy, like a top shelf fireball. A sensitive soul strong enough to withstand the waves of life. An excellent quality for you, patient and empathetic, almost wife. Hannah and Jake, what a beautiful team you make. Gracefully in sync, no missing link. Built-in cheerleaders as you charter unique paths of your own. Independent and bold, creating a life as each other's backbone. Congrats, your mash game dream came true. Be it a mansion, apartment, shack, or house, may there be abundant love under your roof. Always sing each other's praises and celebrate the life you get to live together. I have consistently thought about this conundrum you hear about, I think we learned about it in high school physics, but it's what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. And that's Hannah and Jake. They are both so original and unique and smart and witty and fun and unstoppable and immovable. <laughs> the physicists don't really have an answer for the question what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object, but they both surrender. That both the unstoppable force and the immovable object surrender to one another. And that's what I have watched Jake and Hannah do for one another over the last six years, is give up their wants and their needs and their time for one another. Um, and that's marriage, right? Friends and family, I present to you for the first time today, Mr. and Mrs. Jake. Jake represent unconditional love. They are completely devoted to each other and every one of their friends and family members. They are the love that everyone aspires to have. They are perfect together. You know, the one thing I think is so cool about this is that you can't stop talking and visiting with each other. And I think that sometimes your marriage is good is because the people around your marriages are good and and it's, it's like a group effort. <laughs> you're gonna have each other, you're gonna be f there for each other, and that's a huge deal. It's a huge deal that makes things work in the long, in the long run.
coming in hot for the first one, Nick. Man, this was okay. This was good. Um, just off the bat, good job, Bess. Like, I mean, for real, this is this is mm -hmm. a really great starting point for today. Um, all right, I'm gonna write my scores down. Yeah, I'm I'm Let's sitting see. here. I'm I'm thinking. So we decided this time, Nick, that one at a time we were gonna give our number and then at the end give it so yes. let's talk about cinematography okay we're talking camera movement creativity mm -hmm. composition technique and fundamentals um i've got my number for cinematography yeah me too you can go first okay, i've got a three on this one yep that's um, that's where i landed very solid there was a couple of times a couple of things but nothing really stood out to me of like who we really need a, a lot of work on this which it that means that it was great um yeah. passing the test big time there was nothing about it to me that was like um next level i guess is the word mm -hmm. some of the shots were i love some of those wide shots i love some like some of the creativity it, like pass pass the test for me i give it a three yeah um so some of the stuff that that i picked up on um like and and i know that this is really really hard and it was a ridiculous lighting situation but during some of those reception shots or ceremony shots especially when people are walking around they were going from really really bright harsh light into some shade and i think for this type of edit i probably would have cut those a little bit differently so that i wouldn't have seen them like blown out and then walked into Maybe that's more of an editing thing, but uh, and again, that's that's one of those ones I, I'm getting a little nitpicky. You know, she when she submitted this, you know, she said, <laughs> "I know stuff's a little bit shakier than I wanted it to be." She did. She said, "I had some issues with with some stuff." I did pick up on that a little bit, though mm -hmm. it wasn't one that totally pulled me out of things. I would say, you know, there's sometimes when you see camera shakes and you're like, like, oh, like I can't pay attention to the film because stuff is so shaky. Um, it was it, there. There were some in there, but it wasn't terrible um, or like super distracting, I guess is what I'm saying. But I think, you know, some of those camera shake stuff, you know, some of those those harsh lighting situations, um, that kind of stuff could have could have helped with that. But a, a three I wanted to do. Uh, I would have liked to do a four, but I, I it, three yep. three is really good with this one. So uh, I'm going to go. Are we doing did we decide we're not doing halves, right? It's either a, a no halves. Who no get off the pot? Yeah. Oh, Paint or get man. off the ladder, man. So okay. If there were a half audio, I think would be this would be the one. I would. I would go. get. I, yes, that's what I was. I, I ended up giving this one a three on the mm -hmm. audio, mm -hmm. and not be. It had to do with there were so many moments, and and it could just be YouTube and streaming and stuff. There were so many um, ambient sounds that I wish that I would have heard. Yes. While things were going up, like that was it. You know, I, I mean, I was amazed <laughs> as and it, someone in the chat put it in here. Like people are talking on the microphone and they're doing all sorts of this stuff. And there's like no drop in the audio. Like it, it doesn't sound like it's getting far away or anything like mm -hmm. the vocal stuff was all crisp. And my sole reason by not giving that a four would have been more ambient stuff that I yeah. think would have really propelled the feel of everything. Yeah, like you were saying uh, on audio sound design, like we're looking for quality, clarity, uh, sound effects, technique, um, and you passed the. I mean, it was all very clear. Um, there was a couple times where I was like, "Is my AirPod like not pulling enough depth or something?" Kind of how it sounds like if you're listening to audio like on an airplane or something, and it's just like mm -hmm. not coming through the streaming service the right way. So it could have been that. Um, but yeah, there were a lot of times where I felt like. Um, some scratch audio from your camera would have really taken this to the next level. I gave yep. this a three as well. It's really a three and a half um, for me because you did do such a good job um, and talking audio snippets and story and stuff in a second that you, you killed it over there. But yeah, the, the audio to me would have been just that much better um, if you would have really leaned into, if we see, the groomsmen outside, we hear their chuckles. If we see, um, you know, a water fountain doing something, we hear a little bit of it. just, just to pull me in audio wise into the story. Um, I loved the audio quality at the rehearsal dinner or whatever that was. You could hear little forks clanking against uh, plates and stuff. It just kind of brought you in. Um, so it, it sounded really great. So I give that one a three. Um, yeah. Next, Nick, you were talking about this, like on editing, 
Um, the next category, pacing, creativity, technique, flow, and skill. Um, just about like some of the edit, like you could have trimmed up a couple of things to make it a little more clean, but I think you did a really good job, especially when it comes to the pacing of this film. I don't feel like it got boring. I don't feel like, um, like I feel like it was really well paid. Like the pacing of it was really good. I, I felt like um, I it was kind of unfolding the day, even the way that the music um, helped pace it, where it felt like something big is coming the whole time. Um, I think you like you did a great job um, when editing. There was a couple of little things that brought it to a three for me. Um, so I've got this one down as a three as well. Again, if you're out here watching, a three means you did a great job. Um, that means there's not much to work on. It's now just elevating it from that point. So I feel like your edit told the story or it, it helped elevate the whole experience. So, okay. Um, we're differing here, John, you gave the editing a three. I, I gave it a four and, mm -hmm. uh, the, the biggest reason was you had a lot of audio to work with, um, and, you jumped back and forth a lot between like what was going on and what was happening, but it seemed to fit really well. And the pacing went really well. Like it all, it all worked together very, very well. And, uh, I, that's not an easy thing to do. Um, especially with, this was like a nine and a half minute film. It did not mm -hmm. feel like a nine and a half minute film, and a lot of that has to do with the fact of how, um, you know, it, 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 it was, it was, it fit together. It flowed together. It, it worked really, really well together. I loved your opening, like your opening 30 seconds, just those still shots that you had with your name. And like, I thought that that looked so, so good. Um, yeah. Uh, what, one thing that I, um, a recommendation that I would have had, I'm still going to keep it at four, but at the beginning you had that super eight, overlay for a few shots at the beginning, which I thought was fine, but then that was it. I think something that maybe could have tied it, made a little more cohesive throughout the film is if you would have added in some of those later throughout the film. But anyways, mm -hmm. I I'm giving this before. I thought that uh, she did a really good job with the editing. I'm going to chew on that because I feel like that's really good feedback. And I might then change it. I might change it. Okay. Okay. And Why then not? also with the story, I, I gave this one a four. Um, while, you know, there were, it was kind of like pieces kind of all over the place. Like we were like two minutes into this film and I, and I, and I wrote down, I feel like I know them. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so to me, that was huge. You know, you had all these emotional moments. You could tell that they were, um, they were in it and they were very emotional. Also, they were kind of, at least she was kind of quirky and kind of silly. Like you could really pull those things out with it. Um, lots of really good stuff. I, so I, I gave this one a four. What what do you have to say? I also gave the story a four. I almost gave it a four and a half. Um, I feel we can't like, do halves. We can't. Yeah, do I halves. know. Uh, I feel like story is a big deal to me for sure. Like I want to know this couple. Um, I don't know if you were at the rehearsal dinner, or what this was, but like the way that you um, incorporated all of everything about them, uh, the speeches, little snippets that kind of all pushed towards this story. I think you did a next level job. This is better than your average wedding film when it comes to story. And you might be out there saying, well, I don't ever get to film rehearsals or whatever. Um, you may make sure that you're there, even if you do a few of them for free, if there's going to be speeches like this. Um, yeah. That the story to me, you know, we're looking for emotion, the actual storytelling. Is it captivating? Does it have, have depth? And this is above average for sure on this. So 100%, 100%. Great job on story. And the last one, Nick, uh, color. color. Uh, cohesiveness is a big one that I'm uh, scoring this one on. Um, technique, it enhances the film and skill. Um, I give this one a four as well. Um, I am, wasn't just blown away necessarily. Like it wasn't, I, this film didn't need like ridiculous coloring, but what I did love about it is that there was not like one real shot to me that I was like, Ew, the coloring is coloring is off. And it, it was very consistent to me throughout with the speech lighting. Um, you did a great job of like capturing good color. I know there were some shots in there, Nick, you talked about it comes to like being overexposed and not. Um, but to me, I feel like this is way above average on the color as well. 
Yeah. Um, for me, I gave this one a three. Um, mm-hmm. I It would have been one that was a three and a half, definitely, um, if we were doing halves, but we're not. And it it all came down to the color when we got into the reception. Like everything, like the... The rehearsal dinner, those toasts and how that looked great. Uh, the couple stuff that you did, the getting ready, all of that stuff looked good. It's just whenever we got to the reception stuff, um, I think everything was just a little bit darker. And so having more, I don't know if you brought in lights or didn't bring in, you know, whatever could have helped enhance that. And to me, it was a pretty stark transition, stark difference going from everything pre-ceremony to that so uh that's why i gave it a three but if we were doing halves this would have been a three and a half so okay a quick note on the editing the more i'm chewing on that especially with the beginning i feel like the edit was very strong i'm gonna bump that up to a four as well whoa so i'm actually going to give this film uh an 18 right 18 i think that's the highest i think that's the highest i've given at this point So, so 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 you have you have a two three, threes, three two threes and, and yep. four. Okay. I have two threes and three fours. Okay. And I then I am going, um, I have three threes and two fours. So that would be a uh what is 17. that? Nine? Seventeen. Yes, Seventeen. Which, you have that an gets you a thirty-five. A thirty-five. Um, which uh, I saw in the comments. Um is this a score, Michelle, out of four or five? Uh, each category has five points. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, just right up there to me on um, honorable distinction, just a few things would have taken that up just a notch. You would you would be getting that award today. So great job. Um, Definitely. Bess Definitely. is in our mastermind group. We've had mentor sessions with her. It's been fun to watch her grow. So continue pushing it. Um, I think that was, I think that was a really great film. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I, and, and again, we both said, I think if you add in some ambient stuff like that, that takes that sound audio one way up. So anyways, great, great job, job there. So bless um, Bess. Sorry. Good job. Good job. Bad joke. Good job. Um, next we have, this is right. Blake. We have Ali Mack from MCA media. Yeah. Uh, I believe so. I believe sure. so. Okay. Let's do Aubrey, it. From Let's the it. moment we first spoke, I knew that we had something magical. When I look back on all of our special times we have shared together, I am honored that a beautiful, caring, and wonderful woman would be my wife. I will forever be your foundation. I promise to always carry you when you feel weak, build you up when you feel small, and I will never stop loving you. <laughs> And you will forever be my person. I love you so much. This is everything I have to tell you about love. Nothing. This is everything I've learned about marriage. Nothing. Only that the world out there is complicated and there are beasts in the night and delight and pain. And the only thing that makes it okay sometimes is to reach out a hand in the darkness and find another hand to squeeze and to not be alone. It's not the kisses or never just the kisses. It's what they mean. Oh my gosh. Somebody's got your back. Somebody knows your worst self and somehow doesn't want to rescue you or send for the army to rescue them. It's not two broken halves becoming one. It's the light from a distant lighthouse bringing you both safely home. Because home is wherever you are both together. So this is everything I have to tell you about marriage. Nothing. Like a book without pages or a forest without trees. 
because there are things you cannot know before you experience them. Because no study can prepare you for the joys or the trials. Because nobody else's love, nobody else's marriage is like yours. And it's a road that you can only learn by walking it. A dance you cannot be taught. A song that did not exist before you began together to sing. And because in the darkness you will reach out a hand, not knowing for certain if someone else is even there, and your hands will meet, and then neither of you will ever need to be alone again. And that is all I know about love. are my favorite part of every day. You've shown me nothing short of unwavering love and support. I can't believe you get to be my boyfriend for life. This is the best day ever. Let's do this, baby. <laughs> Good job. <clears throat> Caught me off guard there. All right. Let me pull back up my notes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That was Allie Mac, you said? Yep. Yep. Okay, cool. All right. So I'm going to, I've written down a couple of mine. I'm going to, do you have any of yours written yet, Nick? Because I can let you start this time if you want. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. I can, I can get started. I can get started here. Um, Okay, so again, the, the five categories that we, we are doing this on cinematography, audio, which also includes sound design, editing, story, and color. Um, great job with this, uh, Allie. Um, thanks for submitting it here. I, I will say my biggest, some of my biggest critique when it comes to the cinematography of this is going to be the camera movements. And there in this, there seem to be a lot of um, kind of start 
and then move kind of motions or stuff that just wasn't, um, I don't know, real intentional with the movements or trying. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I think that this is great industry stand. I'm giving this a three, you know, just, I think that, uh, you did a good job covering everything, uh, with this. Uh, those are things that I would definitely, I definitely noticed them, I guess is what I'm saying. John, what about you? I think I'm going to be Simon Cowell on this one a little bit. Uh, okay. no. So I agree with you, but I do feel like, um, the cinema, like the, the main thing, like what you're saying, you know, the, the, on the cinematography category, camera movement, creativity, composition, technique, and fundamentals. There were a lot of times I was wishing there was like a different focal length, like the first look just kind of pulled back. I wish it was tighter. I was kind of chopping them off at the the knees um, or it, it just a couple of things like that. But then there were a lot like to me of the camera wasn't moving. All of a sudden it started moving or like the camera would tilt at the end, like a gimbal was off balance or something like that. I feel like it needs work. If I were giving a half, it would be a two and a half, but I would give this one a two. I, I feel like it needs, like it needed more work. Um, so that'd be my honest critique on that. I hate giving a, that. I mean, that doesn't mean it's terrible. What, like it's, it's fine, but I feel like to get it to where um, you'd be charging kind of what the industry standard would be. It needs to be bumped up just on quality just a little bit. That's how I feel about it. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Next one for me is the audio and sound design, the quality, the clarity, um, sound effects, technique. Um, I gave this one a three. There were a couple times that made me want to maybe uh, bump it up. And there were a couple times that maybe we want to bump it down. Um, so like when she was reading her letter, it was a lot clearer than it cut straight to her, uh, va like vows or whatever in the ceremony. And it sounded a lot different and it wasn't like cohesive. <clears throat> and I think that it pulled me out of it a little bit. And there was a couple of things like that throughout that brought it back down. And then there were a couple of moments I loved, um, you know, being able to hear what he said, like right after the ceremony, being able um, you know, to hear their, like the officiant talking really clearly, all of that. So I feel like this one's industry standard for me with a three. Yeah. I, I am also going to give this one a three again. I, I keep coming, I'm going to come back to having some sort of natural on board, like would have just helped so, so much. You had a lot of people, you know, just standing around talking and that stuff. And maybe there was music playing, so you couldn't use it on camera, but, you know, finding some Walla or something like that um, from something like Soundstripe or another uh, sound effects, you know, just, just to have something going on. Uh, I think that that would have helped. Um, yeah, that, that was a big, that was a big notice whenever like right there, I think it's on screen where she was reading and then it cut to the vows, which I think was the same thing, just different parts of it. And so, uh, that, that was pretty noticeable. But yeah, I would say that this is pretty, pretty standard, um, for the most part when it comes to the sound design. So. Yeah. And that was another note I had written down, just like ambient audio, like mm -hmm. wish I would have heard just little birds chirping when we saw the drone shot from above or like just kind of sometimes when you see a shot and you don't hear anything except for the music from um, the song, it just feels empty. And that's mm -hmm. how I felt a lot, a lot of the time during the film. Like, I don't really feel like I'm there. I feel like I'm watching a drone shot. I don't feel mm -hmm. like I'm on that day. I'm in that day. Um, so that's little things that bump it up for me. So yeah. All right, next you can do the editing. Yeah. yeah editing. Um, this one, uh, I actually, I probably would have done a two and a half, but I gave it a two. And the biggest thing for me was whenever we got into the second half of the video, when it was basically just the music playing, um, it seemed to just kill the momentum that it had. And, uh, it, it, it was hard to, you know, keep that pace up and keep the energy going with that. I mean, there was lots of energy type stuff that was going on like here, um, you know, them walking in, but that, that was the thing for me, pacing with this one was really, mm -hmm. really my biggest, my biggest issue. So. Yeah. It started like in interesting, we were there. And then like, I caught myself drifting at a certain point, um, which is hard to do with a wedding film where there's not, um, a lot of audio to use. Um, that sort of thing. Um, I loved how you incorporated different things, um, if, you know, into it or whatever, but, uh, from the home session stuff to, um, like that was cool. But like, yeah, I feel like the edit, uh, I gave it a two as well. 
um it it lost me a little bit around half the halfway mark um mm -hmm. it felt like maybe you had a length that you had to get it to at a certain like you know contractually it was like we have to get it to this length or whatever um but yeah those those are my thoughts on that um next category nick um would be story mm -hmm. um emotion storytelling captivating depth what do you have to say about story um i it was, it was, I mean, I think that this is one of those challenging videos that you have um, whenever you film, you know, whenever we get to start filming weddings and stuff that maybe you're, you just weren't able to use, or maybe the stuff that you wanted to use wasn't there. Uh, I appreciated that you, you know, used the, uh, what the officiant had to say in that thing about what is love or what is, you know, whatever that was, you know, I don't know what those things are or, you know, that sort of stuff. I, 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 I appreciated that. Um, I wanted to hear more from them. I think uh, a little bit was kind of where I was, I was lacking. So um, I'm, I'm going to say uh, that this is, I'm going to get, I'm giving this part a three. I think that this is pretty standard for most people um, who get, maybe get what they get back. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty standard on this one. Um, maybe, uh, you know, I noticed that you didn't use anything from the reception. So I'm guessing that there just wasn't, there either wasn't toasts at all, or they were just very, nope, can't, can't use these kind of whatever's on here. So, mm -hmm. um, but I would say this is definitely industry standard at a three. So what do you have to say? Yeah. I also gave this one a three just because it did feel pretty standard. Um, they seemed like really interesting people. Like they did. I don't know that much about them at the end of the day. So I was teetering back between a two and a three on this one. Um, ultimately gave a three because I feel like you did a good job with what was given you. What I would challenge you to do on this one and everybody out there watching, if you're um, able to do, I, I think this was an extra session they did at the beginning in the home. Maybe it was them getting ready or something, but set them up and ask them some questions, you know, and maybe they didn't want to do that. And I don't have any context at all, but yeah. just, Hey, we're here. Let me ask you a couple of questions. Like, how'd you guys get together? Tell me a little of your story. Then you're at their home. I think that was their home. It's like, show off some stuff from the pictures on their walls or some of the things from their travels or from, so we can get to know these human beings a little bit better. So we can be more invested into caring about the fact that they're married. Like whenever he finally was like, who like it would have been cool if we would have known if he was nervous if he was any like i don't know much about like his state of being um during that like and just this relief or whatever but i don't feel like there was this big build of these two lifetimes coming together to like you know peak at this moment so it was it was good i love how you used the what you had and spread that out um but mm -hmm. then the story fell off kind of in the last half like there wasn't anything but just a music video at a certain point. So yeah. I give this one a three. Uh, last but not least, Nick um, would be color, um, mm -hmm. cohesiveness, technique, enhances film and color skill. What do you have for this one? Um, I, I gave this one a two on the color and um, there's lots of really, really nice shots, but then there's also some stuff where they're just, I, there wasn't enough light and stuff. And so you didn't, you know, bring up, bring up the colors enough or, you know, I, it didn't look like when they were like in the reception stuff that there was much, um, that if you did have lighting on them, it wasn't, it was too far away or something like that. Um, I, I think that the overall consistency of it, you know, you have several that are very, very, okay, these work together. And then you have one or two in there that are a little, this needs a little bit of tweaking. So uh, I think that that's where I am going to go on that one. Yeah, I gave this one a two as well. I feel like this is where the film needed the most work um, to me. Uh, there was just a lot of footage that was, it's like, just bring the brightness up in post. It, like so many shots just felt really dark. And then I was like, well, maybe we're going for like a darker, more moody vibe, but then it would cut to a shot of them like, lit really well the color was like if they were outside um during the daytime the color was easy to see and uh, um, but then like we got some magenta tones in the skin tones because you're having to uh, it was dark wherever things were or uh, the getting ready room where the bride was getting ready was like kind of dark and dingy pull her out uh, near some window light or something a little more uh, flattering so that your color in camera could be um, a lot more pretty 
but yeah, I, I did. The reason I gave it a two is because I felt like it did pull me away from the mm-hmm. film from time mm-hmm. to time. Like, ooh, that needs some. Like, if I were just a casual viewer, something would feel off. I wouldn't know what it was. So, um, you know, when when editing or going like shooting, whatever, st- stand up for. We need to move you over here for a few shots of getting ready. Or hey, um, you know, making sure that your camera has a fast enough lens on it so if it gets dark or the lights, you know, bringing in some lights so that you can control color a little bit more. Um, overall, like to me, uh, th- this is a 12 for me, so that it, it needs some work and, um, we hope this is encouraging. That's what we're here to do. We're not here to crush or anything like that. Lots of good things about this film. I know the couple loved this film. We are just giving suggestions on ways to take this up, um, take it up a notch. Um, so yeah, I think it, I think it was, I need, it needed some work. My score was a 12. Nick, what was your score? 13. So 25 out of 30. Mm-hmm. So a couple of things to look at. I'm excited to review another one of your films in the future because I know how much work you're putting into your business uh, and you're shooting and stuff. So I'm excited for future films for you. Nick, anything we want to say? I uh, want to talk about VidFlow a second or is that after the next one? I think it's after the next one. Well, if if you don't use VidFlow, use VidFlow. Okay. I already said there it. You go. No. There you go. <clears throat> okay uh next our friend shia of shia came F- k films i think our only canadian for today getting reviewed so let's let's get going shia okay. come on every challenge that you encounter with a strong, open, and caring heart. Touching all that you meet along your way with kindness, giving joy. So it really was no surprise that you would find and join with another amazing soul, Jake Warner. You bring out the best version of me and want me to succeed. The love and support you you give me can't be compared. The words I love you are nowhere near enough to tell you how much you mean to me. Never did I think I'd be lucky enough to find someone as amazing as you. I'm so thankful I get to hot rod through life with you. You're my best friend. You make me laugh. You make me smile. You're the strength I didn't know I needed. You brighten my day. You brighten my life. To grab your butt in every chance. (laughs) I'm so lucky to be calling you my soon-to-be wife. I didn't know what love was until I loved you. Spend the rest of my life waking up beside you, going on adventures together, falling asleep next to you at the end of each day, and building a life together. I could not imagine doing life without you, and I don't want to. You heard it a million times. Be prepared to hear it for the rest of your life, but I love you, and I'm so lucky. It is my honor to say, by the power vested in me by the province of British Columbia, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jacob, this is your time to shine. (laughs) You may kiss your bride. (laughs) Love is a friendship that has caught fire. It's quiet understanding, mutual confidence, sharing and forgiving. It is loyalty through good and bad. It abounds in less than perfection and makes allowances for human weakness. Love is content with the present, it hopes for the future, and it never broods over the past. It is the day in and day out chronicle of compromises, small disappointments, big victories, and work towards common goals. Oh my god. Yeah, waterproof makeup? Nope. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll be your greatest cheerleader, biggest fan, and partner in crime. I bow with love. I'll be with you to overcome whatever may come. Any storm, any mountain, get together, we're unstoppable. <laughs> Okay. 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 All right. Let me write some stuff down. Um, I'm here. Okay. Great job, Shia. Yeah. Shia is Great also job. in our mastermind group and killing it up there in Canada. If you're Canadian or not, I think he puts on something called what is it? BC VidCon. I think so. A little video conference for uh, Canadians. Okay. Nick, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. a lot of fun. This film, not a lot of yes. fun. I, I enjoyed this film. Cinematography, uh, camera movement, creativity, composition, technique, fundamentals. I think this was solid. Um, what did you give this one? What did you give it? I gave it a three. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I guess I've been teeing you up first on a lot of these. Well, it's like, it's like we, we had been going back and forth and then for the last like four of them, you're like, okay, you okay. introduce it. And then you're like, so Nick, what'd you give it? And I was, yeah, sorry. No. I just, no, it's, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. It's I gave fine. it a three. I think that it was really good. Um, I liked the drone shots. I liked the movement. It was on purpose. Everything was great. Like there was nothing about it to me. Like, uh, I didn't, I don't remember any shots. It was a, a lot to process really fast. Um, but yeah. I, the, the movement, uh, like the cinematography felt fast and fun. And that's, I think the purpose of the cinematography in this film. So that's why, um, to me, it's doing great. Three. That's good. This, I, I've been going back and forth on this one. I think I'm going to end up with a four on this one, um, for me, for the, uh, cinematography. There are a lot more of the creative uh, stuff there, the camera movement uh, was seemed to be more intentional or if it wasn't intentional, you made it look intentional. So good job on that uh, sort of stuff. Um, I, I kept, I, you know, I was going back and forth. Is this a three or a four? And I just, I, I feel, I feel it in my gut that a four is where I want to go on the, the filming. Uh, the drone shots look really nice. Of course it's hard. I'm sure right there to, get an ugly drone shot or something, but, uh, <laughs> lots of, lots of different, uh, like here, like out of focus shots, lots of different angles, lots of different, uh, lens. What, what am I looking for? What am I looking for with local links? There you go. That's the word I was looking for. I know what I'm doing guys. I promise you, uh, lots of different focal links and that sort of stuff. So, um, great job. Great job. Yeah. Uh, Again, I think that like I love some of those shots, um, like the the ones that I'm seeing on screen, stuff like that. I think you did great and did great. Um, all right, next you want you want me to tee up the next one, and you want to say what you did for audio and sound design. Audio, I, I mean, I can audio and sound design, quality, clarity, the sound design, the sound effects, the techniques, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm I'm putting this one at a three. Um, Thought it was really good. Thought it was uh, great. I like how you kind of had some sound designy stuff very at that kind of that opening that you did there um, in the beginning. Um, I think there was some kind of sprinkled in throughout. I would. One of the things, guys. I'm just gonna. One thing that I wish that there was this. I excuse me. I burped. Um, I wish that there was a way to where you could add in some sound design while people are dancing and have it match and sound nice because that would have just brought the. But like, it's so hard. I've looked and looked and looked. It's hard for that. So anyway, but I'm giving this one a three. You. Yeah. No. I had a four written down. I marked it out. I wrote a three. I marked the three out. I wrote a four. I marked the four out. I wrote a three. Um, so this to me, a couple of things of note that why I'm leaving this at a three. Um, I feel like the audio was competing with the soundtrack the whole time. Yes. yes. It was too loud. There was too much going on. And then there was a lot of times where it was like music playing in the background of the actual clip that was competing. And I think that um, the first song that you used was like, a, like it wasn't a four, four time time frame, And it was just like a little bit of offbeat, which was confusing my brain with the background of the, like there was a lot going on with that. Like um, I think it was like, a, I, I forget what that time measure is called back when I was in band, but um, it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, 
three four time yeah there we go um anyway as the audio sound design like we heard water one time that was like you could see water but the water was a, like a little bit overwhelming um little things like that um and then just I don't know if this is in the audio category, but some of these live moments, um, like there's there was an Ed Sheeran song playing in the background of one of the live moments or whatever. It's just like, I know you might have been limited, but if I have music somewhere playing. I actually got into a fight the other day at a wedding with the random, uh, a random tech person that was at the ceremony because I was like, we need to kill that music. And he was like, I'll do it later. And I'm like, we're doing a first look right now. Kill the music he was mad but like i needed it to be quiet for that moment or whatever and so audio was good like it was like the matching of it to the edit and stuff we'll get that in a second but yeah i think you did i think it was great three and a half <laughs> if you can do that okay um editing pacing creativity technique flow skill what do you got i got a four on this one okay. i think the intro was lit uh i love the pacing of it the fun of it um this is like to me above average when it comes to the way it was edited together, um, especially in the pacing and the creativity. Um, like I feel like it was edited together in a fun way that was next level when looking at wedding films in general, like this is better than your, your standard edit. I have more notes, yeah. but I want to hear what you have to say. Okay. I, when this film started, I was like, this, this is going to be a four. This is going to be a four. The thing that actually dropped it to a three for me was you did the kiss. You're like, okay, buddy, you can shine. You can kiss her. Then we cut to them walking down the aisle. Then we cut to them doing their first look. Like it was, I'm all for time shifting stuff. Like I, I think that that's great. But to me, it, I just couldn't figure out how, how it made sense and how it fit together. And so like the editing technique that you did, like the actual cutting, cutting on the beat, when you cut it, adding some sound and like the quick, like that is a four, the, how you laid it out. The story part of it, which is the um, next category. <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is a story. Maybe this is a story. I'm just saying that's what I, that was going to be my note for story. Like the edit itself. And that's where these kind of blend over each other. So does audio and story. Like I'm trying to keep them separate in my brain. I'm not saying you need to change your, uh, you can let me know in the comments or let Nick know in the comments if he should bump it to a four or not. But I feel like the editing was next level, like not the story. That one okay, I gave it. Okay, a, I gave I that will, a three. I, okay, okay, okay. I will. I will. I will. I, I will agree to that. I will agree okay. to that because I was okay. saying the cutting, like the editing, like how the creativity with it, how it all like flowed together. With I will say that I did think that the I'm still I'll still keep this on a four. For the editing i did think, think that the transition from the opening song to the second song was really abrupt agreed like i need to watch this film like four times to give it a uh, legit because a lot of it i was like well i'm trying to keep up with like what all's even happening mm -hmm. there was a lot of stuff going on um when it came down to it though with the edit for me i i think it was next level on the story side of things which is the next one i gave it a three um i didn't feel too much emotion like I, well let me say that again i felt emotion it was good i it just it felt like chaotic a little too chaotic for me i think i really think that all of the parts were there for something that could have had a really solid story and emotional thing that really brought you in I, I think that that all the parts were there i think the order of it was really what kind of just made me yeah. go what's going on yeah i w i need to watch this a bunch of times is where i'm at and that's why to me it's a three mm -hmm. i think it was a fun story and there was a lot there and i felt like some of the story that I, like for me where i go to is like i saw shots of i think them at home with kids i, I want to know the story like i need to know more of the story like that's where i go mm -hmm. when i'm thinking of story N not every film needs every detail laid out but I just feel like I wasn't, it was such a quick film. I felt yeah. like it was a 60 second film. I have no idea how long it was, um, but it was just like, what is happening? And I kept wondering, was like this going to be like an intro to a longer film? Like I didn't even know how long the film was going to be. And then it was over and I was like, oh, that's the the whole thing. So that mm -hmm. one, I gave it three. Um, 
Nick, the last one, I'm going to throw it to you because I said this one first, but we're talking. Did you say your story was a three? Is that what you said? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I gave I gave my editing. Originally, I put editing at a three, but then you said that was the story. But anyway, so I gave the editing a four. I gave my story a three. Color. And the votes are in. 86, 92 percent of people say we should allow half points in the grading. Oh, man. <laughs> 13 votes. The wow. votes are in. Um, let's see. Bring half points back. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stop looking over there. Um, the last thing that I'm going to say uh, we're going to do is color. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cohesive technique enhances film and skill. My main thing on the color, which I gave a three, was that like I feel like skin tones were really yellow in some shots. And then it was like, it felt like one lens you were using like a Zeiss lens or something that was like way more cool um, as in like the color of it was or something, or just like the shot of them with the mountains behind them and out of focus was like real bluish. Um, But then like it just, the color to me, I feel like that's an area you can work on um, with it. I like, it was such a fast paced edit that, but like, I feel like skin tones were really orange a- across the board and then it would cut to like more of a natural look with whatever that one lens was. And it just kind of went back and forth. I think it was good, but I think that there's some room for improvement on that. Yeah, I, I will agree. I gave it a three also um, really, really solid. You should be really, uh, really happy with it. Really proud uh, with it. I think there are a few shots that just seemed a little, um, Maybe overexpose a little yeah, bit. It's like the highlights were crushed in, in a some little. Of the, oh, yeah. 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 So um, anyway, but overall, really, really <laughs> solid. Really, really good. Like, yeah. And uh, Shia said, how does John know it was Zeiss and Sigma? Yeah, I could tell one of those lenses was a Zeiss lens. Um, I can tell you what shots there are, too. Um, but I, I just feel like when watching, going back through your color grade, making sure it's just consistent, at least with like, several clips in a row so it doesn't pull you in unless you're or pull you out of the film unless you're trying to do um something with it like you might show a bluer shot to like show that it's you know the blue hour and then cut back to daytime like to try to like pull people back and forth to different parts of the day but um overall this is very solid that to me um i have 16 points overall um three three four three three yep Okay. Uh, and I have 17. Yep. So 30. Three? 30. It's 33. Yes. 33. Solid job. Solid job. They're Sorry. wondering how I know that like <laughs> the difference between a Zeiss lens. Guys, I've been filming weddings for 16 years. I've had Zeiss lenses. I know these things. Um, all right, Nick, anything we need to say before we move on? How many more do we have? Three more films? We have three three more to do. Um, before we jump into this next film, we wanted to, again, remind you of our friends over at VidFlow. Uh, today's uh, live film reviews is presented by VidFlow. If you uh, head over to howtofilmweddings.com slash VidFlow and then you sign up for a uh, business membership, you can save, we can save you 20% with the promo code HTFW20. But uh, we love VidFlow. It's the best place to deliver your films. It's pay per project. Um, It's really easy. You can send them a gallery, which is on your screen right now like that. And that's what they see. Or you can actually embed that on your website as well, which is really cool. So if you anyway. if you use vidflow throw me a hand up in the uh, the comments an emoji or uh, yes i use vidflow i want to see who uh, who's out there using them um yeah. this is fun nick i'm having a good time yeah i love critiquing people <laughs> just kidding shy a great critique, job on the last one critique me right now uh, i think your beard needs some you're getting it worked on tomorrow right yeah i'm gonna go see huck tomorrow Okay, good. I was going to say it's getting a little beardy, but that's the only critique I have. I like your glasses and your hoodie's pretty legit. Would it, Would any of you, like, if we sold hoodies like this, would any of you want one? Like, would you buy one? Like, is that is that a thing? Or are you like, no, that's stupid? Just wondering. Um, Next, we have our friends Max and Courtney from Woo! Kenneth Kevin Media. They are part of HTFW+. And so we are going to review their film right now. So guys, whenever you are ready, we're ready for you. Okay. All right. Do you want to go first? I can, you can go first. I'll go first. I can go first. Yeah. Okay. I got no worries. No worries. 
Lasell and Nico, I wish the love the two of you share will last far longer than forever. Like no love ever known. Just like Prince Derek and Princess Odette from The Swan Princess. A movie Lasell made me watch a lot. No worries, no worries, got me no. I got no problems, no problems I can see no. I got this feeling, this feeling over me like. I think so, right? Oh my god. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like this. Ah, oh, it's crazy. Is it what you expect? No, not at all. A lot better. <laughs> you look great. You look beautiful. I love you. Oh, I love you. Don't get married. LaSalle, if there's one thing I'm sure in life is that you and I were meant to be. I remember the very first time we started talking. This was back then in our summer before of our senior year of high school. I've never told you this, but before I messaged you for the first time on Twitter, I actually prayed to God. You know, I said, God, if this is really meant to be, make this happen. <laughs> that day, God told me to message you on Twitter and to just go for it. I knew that by messaging you, I wasn't alone and that God had a plan for us that was bigger than what I thought. Nico, we've come a long way from the two teenagers we were when we met 11 years ago. We would be at opposite ends of a room full of people, but my mind would only focus on you and when our relationship began, it felt so easy, despite any obstacles. It's an understatement to say that we've been through a lot. <laughs> we stepped into adulthood together and quite simultaneously became parents. I know we both agree that having Elliot was the best thing to ever happen to us. And he came in God's perfect timing. We're so lucky to have Elliot, and we have the best family that have supported us from the very first day. I promise to never leave Elliot alone and to take care of him and be the best father. Yeah, who do you love more, Daddy or Mama? Mama. Okay. <laughs> when Elliot was born, and I was holding him in my arms, you held me and said, we're a unit. That meant the world to me because I knew we could face anything together. LaSalle, I want you to know that I'm the luckiest person in the world 
because I get to marry you. Never change who you are. I still fall in love with you every day. Doing life with you and growing with you is the most beautiful blessing in my life and I know the best is yet to come. Fast forward to where we are now and we have a kid together and I'm about to marry you. I already knew that this was going to happen from the very first time that I sent that DM. And last but not least, like we, we just want to thank Elliot a bunch of times and you know we owe him a lot because he's had to make sacrifices like we have. Elliot, when you're listening to this, thank you so much. This is dad and mom's wedding day and we love you. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Ah, got dusty in here. Oh. Yeah, what was that, man? Holy cow! Ooh. All right. Um. Yeah. So okay. much. That was an incredible. That was incredible. Great job, Max and Courtney. Um. Yeah. Really. Okay, I'm gonna kick it off. Uh, I. Okay. This film to me, before even getting into these, like I was just taken away from my office for eight minutes or however long that was and just like taken to another place into another story and like reminded why i love wedding films so much so like thank you max and courtney for you know that's what you're supposed to do with a wedding film is like take people to a, a story like these two people's stories and um i felt like um i got to know them i felt like a lot of great things so this this to me i'm going to be giving some high scores on this one um uh uh it made me think about my dad and it made me think about my kids. It made me think. So it just like connected with me on a lot of levels, even though maybe it's not exactly my style uh, on certain things. Like I felt like it was very intentional the whole way. So cinematography, Nick, I gave it a four. Um, I think that the framing of uh, lots of the shots, I think some of those beautiful shots of the bride looking into the camera, them looking down, like I feel like, um, Com the composition there were a couple of like the interview it was a little bit like the the framing was a little low on the the wide angle and um, there was some like light coming in that might have gotten distracting on the cinema but like I, I all that was forgiven by just the um the whole the whole story everything happening to me but the cinematography itself i feel like was definitely next level um i didn't feel like there was a couple of there was a couple of times where like during the speech, the maid of honor, uh, like the handheld uh, was jittery or you could see the banding and some of the shots and then it clicked over. But I still am, I'm still standing behind this one on a four. What do you have? I know I know the the fans voted for a half, but we can't do that yet because it's not fair. You can to... do a half. We can oh. officially make it. Are, are we are we doing you can. Like, I mean, I mean, we can do it next time. Your call. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. 
Um, I'm 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 also gonna give the cinematography a four. Um, I I maybe could go to a four and a half on that. There are a few. One of the yeah. things that I really appreciated were your gimbal movements, especially mm-hmm. like during the first look, where I think a lot of people have the tendency of you're here, and then oh I'm gonna just move over here and like a rip. Yeah. But how how you took that gimbal and you stayed on them and you just like did very slowly did this movement. Like that's so a, good. that's kind of a, that's it. And even though you went this way and then back this way, it didn't bother me because it was like a nice slow kind of turn here. And then I'm going to pause on it for a second, but it, it felt very organic. It felt very like, Oh, I'm in this. Um, there was some handheld stuff that you did that I, I really like uh, whenever everyone was hugging and you could tell that the camera was kind of like this a little bit, but it felt like, oh, this is a, a moment where we are coming in and we are embracing each other. And so it's a little bit more real. It's a little bit more raw. Um, a, a lot of those, you know, how you're doing the kind of forced perspective stuff a little bit where you're mm-hmm. zooming in and, and kind of zooming at the same time. Man, lots of really, really good stuff. A uh, couple nitpicky things um, during that first look, whatever it was that nice wide, their feet were cut off mm-hmm. and like. If, if you would have taken half a step back or like that would have just been that, that would like really, really nice, like so much better. And then there was another shot where it's kind of wide like that, but just how you're using your camera movements, how you're doing the parallax, like it all fit really, really well together. Uh, maybe I could do four and a half, but I'm giving it a four. So yeah, really a couple of items of note, the reflection shot off the counters was really sick. Um, like with a couple walking, I just felt like uh, in their, their home kitchen. The elevator shot where the door shuts and then you're in the elevator, all very mm-hmm. sick. And then like you just made them look really good on camera, um, which is great. Like just they have to love the way they look on camera. And that's another part of like the cinematography is just making the subject look as great, shaping light, different things while you're taking that. So great job. All right. Next, uh, Nick would be audio. Mm-hmm. Um and when we're looking at this as you, you know, the quality of it, the clarity of it, the sound design itself, sound effects and technique, I'm giving this one a four as well. Um, okay. I, I think that it wasn't overdoing it. I love the little horns that were when we're outside in the traffic. I loved a little bit of wind on the drone shots. Um, and the, uh, this one mixing was story for me, uh, you know, but the, the audio, um, just the quality of it throughout. I could hear everything very clean. The sound design enhanced the film. Um, the sound effects made it better. Um, and so I don't know if there was a, Nick, you might be able to point out something. I don't know of a spot in this film where I felt like the audio was flawed. Like nothing stood out to me of like audio needs fixing here. I could be wrong. Um, Sorry, I just had a little... You got choked Coughing. up. We all did. Yeah, we got, all did. I got, yeah, I got choked up. Um, no, I didn't. I didn't really, really notice anything. Um, their interview audio was really, really nice. That sounded really, really good, and that was the main driver of the whole film. It sounded great. Um, I and again, it could be I only have one earbud in, and the internet stuff. I Put think I would have liked. Well, I don't like doing that. I don't know. Um, not his fault. You're a dork. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, Just kidding. <laughs> I think I would have liked to have heard a little bit more when it came to the sound and sound design. Um, I I ended up with a four on this one as well. I think that you potentially could have done a little bit more, could have gone um, a little more with it, but not, I don't know. Maybe that would have made it a little bit um, too much or over the top or something. So anyway. All right, there we go. Um, editing. Wow. Um, I'm. This, this. <laughs> there, there, there is so much. I, I'm, I'm landing on a four with this one as well. Um, I kept on going back, maybe, maybe bumping this down to a three and a half, but I'm going to go with a four. My, I think my critique with the editing is the first song while hype and I still felt that there could have been more for how upbeat the music was, if that makes sense. 
um, it was, it was good and it was upbeat, but I, I felt like it was, you know, you were cutting every, you know, every other beat. And in some points, maybe you should have cut to every beat or, you know, stuff like that just made it a little bit more added a little bit more stuff to it. Uh, really good. I will say, I really appreciated when the music swelled and you were cutting back between them dancing, everyone dancing, people hugging them, looking out that, you know, just cutting to all of these different angles, which when with a swell like that, especially when there isn't necessarily like a super, super hard, like cut beat to it. It was, that was really good. Great job. So I'm going to give that one a four as well. Yeah. I, I actually would give this one a four and a half. Um, to me so i'm landing on a four on the edit i loved the the creativity in the edit i loved how you show you waited to show their son until a certain point i know that kind of goes into story but like um i loved how we got a shot inside to start that just left us hanging like with him saying like about to start his letter and then it cuts to the front of the house with the cool font and the cool graphic very creative, very different, very draw me in. I need to know what's next. The pacing was great. The yeah. swells were great. Like everything was building. I was starting to be like, oh my gosh, I'm getting emotional. And then boom, we piled something else on there and piled something else. And just like the pacing um, of it, your technique, I felt like it was, I mean, man, I, I'm almost given this one a five. Like this was very good to me. I know like that there were things that you could have done maybe a little a little better but a very enthusiastic four on this one for me um so nick story um the emotion the storytelling is it captivating is there depth uh i'm going to let you start on this one this is my first ever five five <laughs> okay. i also i also have a five on this i i think that for their story you you told it you knocked it out of the park um you went i mean this is uh something that should motivate people for their storytelling um i don't know what you could have done to add more story to it i mean i feel like we know that he dm'd her on twitter we know they have a son we know all of these things. And then it was just told in such a way that brought out the emotion that layered with the editing, that layered with the sound design and the cinematography to get us to a point to where a lot of us are like tearing up, if not losing, uh, losing a tear or two over this because the story was so well told. And not only that, like you did a great job of like, talking about with the editing starting out with something and and pulling us into the story quickly and then hitting it out of the park and us understanding the story and feeling like there's resolution of that story and then ending the story with them sending a message to the future to their son Ugh, definitely a five and 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 just and just how you were able to capture those moments of their son and then whenever they were talking about it, you know, this just really piles on and adds to the story that you got old cell phone videos and you got things that you could include with it that just like added to the layers and layers and layers to it. Um, I, you know, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, so good. great job. I mean, we're seeing it in the comments. I mean, yeah, you guys are killing it um, on that for sure. Um, yeah. the last thing, Nick, the color, the cohesiveness, the technique, does it enhance the film? Um, for me, I gave this one four. Um, I think that the color was super solid throughout the use of light was really great to get, um, really good color throughout the film. Uh, the shot, the, the reason I didn't give this one a five, I think so, um, is just the color I think, or, uh, the, the interview shot um seemed like overexposed i feel like the light came in and you'd already set him in a spot and you just let him go or but like it just the colors just didn't like it wasn't as cohesive but this is way above factory standard um the yeah. the use of the the correct LUTs for the vibe for the feel to make them look good solid solid job for uh same as well um yeah, really, really, really good. Uh, could you improve on stuff? Sure, but it wasn't like it pulled me out. It was bad, you know, really, really, really great job. 
Yeah. John. Okay. So um, my overall score is a 21 out of 25. That's the highest I've ever gone on a film. Nick, John, what was your, yeah. My score is a 21. That brings 25. us to 42, which is our first ever honorable distinction. So Max and Courtney, congratulations. We're going to be featuring uh, you guys and stuff that that's, that's incredible. Like this, people should watch this film and be inspired. And that's, um, you know, that's one of the points of doing this is like to expose you to other people that are doing things to get you outside of your comfort zone. Great job. 42 points. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That was a great film. Somebody yeah. asked if I if I could be. <laughs> that's funny. I just saw it over there. Can I what? can my film review be the disappointing follow up? <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. These oh, are not man. meant to make people feel uh, like they're a disappointing follow up, but we are going to give credit where credit is due. So right. Max right. and Courtney, Courtney and Max. Good job. Um, great film. Excited to share that one. And I can't wait to see our honorable distinction badge posted on your brand new website whenever you launch that. Cause I know you're working hard on it. Yep. Um, <laughs> here I go again oh. with them prices. That's funny. Uh, oh. <laughs> very great film. Very great film. All right, Nick. Okay. What we got um, next? Um, yeah. Well, and, and while you're here, um, you're watching this live. If you are enjoying this, if this is being helpful to you, uh, smash that like button, give us a thumbs up, you know, say, yes, we want more of these, uh, types of stuff. If you like this content, give us a like for there. Cause you know, we're on YouTube and we have to ask for everyone to do the YouTube -y things. Five people like, just did it. Yeah. You're, yeah. So you're your honorable distinction in my heart. All five of you who just did that. <laughs> Well, there's 13 maybe, that have like Well, there were eight. Now there's 16. We've doubled. Yeah. Oh, my oh, gosh. Man. Like the, wow. the algorithms are going to love us. Great, okay. great job, guys. Uh, next, we have Justin, who is a part of HTFW Plus, and he is from Candio Films. And so we are going to take a watch at that. Let's, Let's go. go. The merging of these two paths is the start of a beautiful and exciting new journey that we know as marriage. The like, it's too skinny to be a cow. I would say it's like a baby cow. No. But it looks too tall to be a goat. Yeah. It might just be a horse. But it looks too From the day we met, you were mine and I was yours. You're my best friend and my closest confidant. You're my adventure partner and you're about to become my husband. I need to start bringing my picks places because they would come in super handy. You need a bobby pin? Do you have one? Uh, Aaron, you are the absolute love of my life. <laughs> this is Grandma Ruth's necklace that she gave to me. These are my earrings, and I think this is Carolyn's, isn't it? Thank you very much. I'm gonna go through with this. Oh, you know, I'm here now, right? So. No backing out. <laughs> I take you as you are, loving you, who you are now, who you are yet to become. I will celebrate your triumphs. I will mourn your losses as though they are my own. I will love you and have faith in your love for me. I know how I'm going to make it through the ceremony. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Can't even touch your hand that kind. <laughs> I 
I want to thank everybody for coming all the way down here and celebrating the marriage of this wonderful couple. On Thanksgiving Day, I looked at the two of them and I said, would you want to elope? <laughs> and they said, no, they want to be a family. He came into my life at a time when I couldn't have imagined a love like the kind you give to me. He smile at me and make me laugh when I didn't think my mood allowed it. You love me fiercely and unconditionally, and you reflect this in every little thing that you do. I know you would go to the ends of the earth for me as I would for you. I cannot thank you enough for everything that you do for me. I can only hope to do the same for you. I promise to be your husband, your best friend, number one cheerleader, and your rock to stand on. I promise to make you pancakes almost every time you ask. <laughs> You empower me to follow my passions and help me solve issues along the way. I love how much fun we can have together and I'm comfortable being my most authentic self with you. It isn't possible for me to express to you how much I love you. There won't be enough time for me to show you in this ceremony and for that I'll need a lifetime. truly grateful that you people are now part of my family as well. And I thank you for taking him in and loving him as much as we do, and I couldn't ask for better for my son. Yes. My darling girl, it's meant that you picked the first perfect husband for yourself. Congratulations <laughs> and many, many happy years ahead. It is my absolute pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Spencer and Aaron Miller. Congratulations, you may kiss your bride. awesome wow i liked that one a lot man nick what do you think did you hate oh. it terrible just kidding that's so good man we're we're hitting hard today man. dude i'm telling you what this was this was next level who did I, this who was this justin Justin who? Uh, Roland? Roland, yes. Yes. Justin from Mastermind as well? Yep. Yep. Yeah, this was this was sick. Um that just took me away to another like an entire that's why I love weddings. I love wedding films. Like um golly, that some of those shots were so epic, I was just like mind blown emoji. Like it doesn't look like that in Oklahoma, Nick. I can't make it no, no matter how I try. Okay. Cinematography for me, um, this was next level. Uh, if I could give it a half, I would say four and a half. I'm going to do a four. I might change my mind to a five. I'm trying to think like if I'm giving out a five, it's got to be like just, and I'm trying not to confuse like the venue, the reception dancing venue spot for that. Like he couldn't control that and did well with lighting and stuff for it. I'm going to start it with a four. I might switch it. Where are yeah. you at? <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's, I, I ended up on a four uh, as well. Um, but I, I don't know. It's lots of, lots of pretty stuff. Um, I, I loved your use of composition, um, you know, taking advantage of it being a, 
elopement and just the couple and out in these spacious places and how you could go really, really wide and it still look, you know, gorgeous and, you know, do a lot of tight stuff. Um, I, I loved your selection of shots too. I, I could be wrong, but I don't think we actually saw them kissing each other until the officiant pronounced them kissing. And then we saw kind of a collection of those. So just lots of different shots, lots of different things. Of course, you were able to spend a few days with them. So anyway, man, really good. Really good. Yeah. Uh, audio. The, 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 oh, the cinematography ahead. too, with like the lamp, the lantern, yeah, or whatever, the so morning nice. shots. Yeah. So nice. I, I'm moving mine. I'm moving mine to a five. I'm changing. Whoa. All right. I think that like, I think that there's not much more you could have done. Um, the lens choices were great. Like the more I'm sitting here thinking about all of these things, like I, I think this is uh, next level when looking at what a five actually is in our, our books. I just think this is, this is setting the standard for industry. I, like I love the use mm-hmm. of wide mediums tights. Again, yeah. I know you can't do that a lot in a lot of films, you know? Mm-hmm. And so that's something to, like it's it's unfair in some of the things, but just like the overall beauty of what we were able to see just then and how not just the beauty of the mountains and stuff, although that was beauty, but like this, the way that he filmed in the car, or the way he filmed, like I, I just think it was next level. OK, yeah. I feel better about myself now. <laughs> Justin's in the chat and he said, I'm literally on a call. <laughs> And I can't hear what's being said. He's trying to wrap it up so he can go listen. Oh, good thing this is going to live on the internet so you can. Okay. Um, audio sound design. I'm going to give this one a five. Uh, it's kind of not fair since he actually went to school. I know he went to school for audio stuff. So he knows so much more than what many of us know what to do. But it was a... Like this video, I think could probably be a masterclass on how to incorporate audio, how to incorporate those sound designs and what, what? What? I, I agree. It's just yeah. like, it, yeah, yeah. It, like it, it, it's the, it's the very, very little things. And you want to know one of the reasons why this film was so good and it resonated with us so much. It's because you could hear so much of the stuff that was going on and it changed between clips, you know, whether it's a waterfall or it's uh birds or wind or anyway. So, so good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've also got this one down as a five. I didn't know it was Justin when I wrote the five down, although he uh, does, you know, it, it makes sense. There were some shots where I was like, why is the sound so good with there's not even holding the microphone? Like what, mm-hmm. where's the, where's this audio coming from? Um, but uh, yeah, overall the use of like the sound effects mixed in with the ambient audio mixed with the natural audio with the door shutting sounding like just all of it layered in there i'm just mm-hmm. it's like you're so pulled in cinematically um as well as now with the audio um mm-hmm. so this to me um so far we're batting batting a thousand for me i'm i'm two fives okay. um i think the cinematography and the audio were incredible okay all right yep okay. all right uh editing I'll let you go on this one. Okay, here we are again. Um, to me, I feel like the edit itself, the way that it cut in fast, the timing of the edit, the way that it was put together, the way that, and again, this isn't the story, but just like the way that this all flowed together, you have mixtures of wides, mediums, tights. I'm entertained. I'm like, I'm in, in this film. I gave it a five. I gave it a five. <laughs> I think this, I think it was, I I'm, it was really like a four and a half. So I'm going to like hear your notes and I might bring it down, but I just love the way that this, like st- this edit played out and how they put it together. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at. Man. I, I, I think I would probably, um, put this one at a four and a half if I was honest, um, I, I, I think that, I think maybe you could do, but I, dude, I don't know. Like, where would you go better? That's what I'm saying. I, yeah. Like, that's, that's, better? yeah, that's the, that's a tough thing. I, I think that, um, how it was edited together, how it was woven together apart from the story. Yeah. I'm, I'll do a five as well. You don't have I, to do I was trying to get convinced down to go down to a four. No, don't but, convince, but, but, but like, as, as we're like, I, I think I probably would have been a four, but as I'm listening to what you're saying, and as we're going back and forth and talking about this, like, 
wh- where, how, what, you know, like those kind of questions, you know, I feel what like I, mean? I just was pulled into this edit, like the way that he showcased them during the edit, which pulls us to the storytelling. Um, this next one um, in the story itself, I think it was above uh, way above average. Um, I initially, I, like I've given this a four um, because like, I don't know what we would add except for maybe just like a little bit more when it comes to their pre story. I mean, we're, I, I don't know. I, I'm at a loss because this one, the more that I'm seeing it scroll on my screen, the more I'm like, oh yeah, that was really good. And that was really good. Um, they did a good job with all the toasts and bringing in the story of the old um, artifacts, the jewelry, the different stuff like that. And like for what this wedding was, this elopement and this home, um, all the faces of all the people, I'm going to land at a four right now. I think it was great. I think it was above average. Um, I'm not sure what we would have added to it, but I'm stopping at a four for this one for right now. Like it didn't just like blow me away. Like the other, um, the other, like, like other films that I've seen, like that's, that's what I'm yeah, getting at. I, I, it's amazing. I, I'm also, yes, very good for what you had. I think that I, I'm gonna, I am also going to stick with a four. Um, like it's, it, it makes sense what is going on. It's cohesive. I think with a film like this, with uh, the cinematography and the audio and sound and the editing, like I think that and it sounds stupid to say that that the story is kind of the part that's lacking a little bit, but not in a in a bad way. It's just yeah. like the other stuff's like way up here and something has to kind of be down a little bit. And and like like you're saying, because you spent that time with them. And, you know, that, that thing about talking about a goat or a cow or whatever, like, I, like you can kind of tell that they're a little quirky and a little, fun. like it would have been nice to just hear more of that backstory of them, I guess, you know? Yeah. But at the same time, God. the story of this weekend, the story of this That's wedding, That's true. That's it's, true. it's there. Um, yeah. I don't, I'm going to, I don't know. Like, I feel like he did a really good job. Uh, with their story i'm gonna leave mine at a four for right now um I okay too. uh with no real critique <laughs> uh, okay uh i'll let you start out with color um okay fine i'm i'm putting a four on the color way above average really good across throughout uh there are a few uh shots in here that a little off, you know, going from shot to shot, uh, kind of thing. Um, but still I would say it's mostly very consistent. Um, it didn't really pull me out of the story at all or the film at all. Um, yeah, that's where I'm going to land. Yeah. I think that the only color things for me are things that he couldn't control. Um, when I'm looking at it, um, like I love the shot there of the bride from above the cut. Like I feel like moments were happening and he chose moments over perfect Definitely. lighting. Definitely. But I think that the color is very consistent throughout. And I think that like the change of color was change of story on purpose and time of mm. day. And um, so for me, I gave this one a four as well, because I think that it's excellent. I, I There's nothing really uh, overall just like the more i'm thinking about this film this is this is a really really solid piece of art if you ask <laughs> really me. really good uh, just really, some of these really shots good. the timing of them all of this um so where i'm at is i've got three fives and two fours and the two fours could almost be two fives um mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so that's where i'm gonna i'm gonna stop there because i feel like i don't know what it is that it's it could be better if that makes sense but like to me to give all fives it's got to be something that i'm just like i have to share this with everyone i know mm-hmm. and although that is a film that's a beautiful piece of work i i'm not like in intrigued to just immediately go share this with everyone or like but i want people to watch this because it it's inspiring i think it's super solid um so that gives me a score of 23. Okay. Do we have a, a sting for Justin, if somebody gets? Yeah. N- n- it's not. Oh, 
John. I know. This is our first what is ever. You, what is yours? What's your My score? My score is a 22. You're a 23. Yep. So that's a 45. That's incredible. This is our first ever How to Film Weddings official selection. Yeah. Like, yeah, it is. It, it Blake, deserves it. Everybody do an air horn. Clapping. Do an air horn, Blake. Oh, Make an air horn noise, Blake. Make an Just air horn noise. Make it happen. Wah, wah. There we okay, go. He's got it. Oh, oh, man. man. In, no, this was... In, yeah. incredible justin so good so good yeah man. this is such a good film um i love it i think it sets a good like sets a standard for elopement films uh for people it, so. it sets a standard for elopement films it sets a standard for wedding films like just in general i wasn't so expecting good. to give out so many good scores today guys john john doesn't like to make people feel good like that yeah that's what i meant to say that's how i meant to say it no uh great job it. justin this is this great is a, an incredible film so what would you guys you, i mean what do you think in the, the comments let us know yeah 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 let us know all right we have one more film that we are going uh going to uh go over this is um osiris and michelle they are htfw plus they were in our mastermind last year uh modern love productions is their business they uh miami but they've gotten into the new york market too i think which i think this one was in new york so uh this will be our last one for today so here we go let's go Wow, Adam, I can't believe the big day is finally here. No, my best friend, my, my person. You see, it's been 580 days since we got engaged. Yes, I counted. In that time, we've been through a lot. We have experienced the highest of highs and the lowest of lows, providing the necessary comfort and support to get each other through each and every challenge. So much in our book of love is unwritten, and I cannot wait to write the next chapter with you. Yes. We were a little skeptical when Brett said Adam was the one for her. Who is this guy? Soon after COVID hit, Adam and Brett moved in with us on Ginger Circle in Weston for a couple of months. Adam passed the test. After that, we knew they were made for each other. Brett, the director, when you told us Adam was the man for you, you were right. And now we see that the two of you make each other so happy. You guys are the yin and yang of each other. When we started planning the ceremony, Cancer Debbie told me to write down three things I love about you. Besides for the obvious, your good looks, your sharp wit, I found this to be an impossible task. How can I summarize the man I love in three measly adjectives? Because the only thing I love more than the sound of my own voice is you, Adam Heiligers. <laughs> the Kachuba hangs in a conspicuous place in their home. They are always reminded of this moment. They are reminded of the love that they share, why they chose each other, and the promises made today. Let's raise our glasses and toast Mr. and Mrs. Heiliger. I know in my heart that you will go on to live a wonderful and fulfilling life together. Your happiness will be infectious to the family.
not to say I did not learn anything these past four and a half years. So I will keep the following notes in mind as we continue our journey. One, you may not always be right, but you are never wrong. Two, your money is your money, and my money is our money. Even though I purchased the mattress before I knew you, it is seven-eighths yours and one-eighth mine. As you begin your life as husband and wife, take care of each other and hug each other often. Life will be happy and yet full of challenges, but it will be beautiful because you will cross all those hurdles with hearts full of love for each other. So you look very dapper, Daddy. Your beauty, independence, motivation, and work ethic, care for others, and sense of humor have always and continue to amaze me. One of the greatest highlights of my day is making you laugh. We have so much to look forward to as we build a family and dance and laugh our way throughout life. I love you. Let's have the best night of our lives this far. We deserve it. beautiful and you make me proud to be unapologetically me. We couldn't have asked for a more gorgeous day. I know somehow somewhere we have your dad to thank for that. without saying that he would be very proud of you today and of course he would be clapping along to your impeccable dance moves someone you can always laugh with. I found these things and more with you, Adam. And I can't wait to be your wife, and I can't wait to see what's in store for us. Like I said before, just you and me. Very good. You guys bring in the heat today. Definitely. Right. Definitely. Let's see here. Mm-hmm. 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 Goodness. That was great. That was a really solid film. Um solid. I, you guys are all killing it today, to be honest. Um I feel like they nailed it. I feel like uh yes, the very luxurious vibe, the color was gorgeous and consistent, the story was great. It's mm-hmm. a very solid film. Um, all right. First category, uh, cinematography, camera movement, creativity, composition, technique, fundamentals. And I also was going to say, I don't know where it fits in, Nick, but like the actual lighting, like the how they light things. should Would that fit in the cinematography side of mm, things? Yeah, probably. I have a couple of notes on that one, uh, which aren't bad, but like um, I, I keep meaning to mention like your toast lighting things like that and i'm just like yeah that probably mixes with cinematography and color uh and Mm -hmm. all that but um what are your thoughts on their cinematography their use yeah i i so um i i want i think this one could have been a four for me but i'm giving it a three for a couple of reasons one their um toast that angle right there, like like how mm-hmm. how profile that is, mm-hmm. that 
I, that could have been better. And also it seemed there was one where they cut to the couple and they were flipped. They, yeah, they were. Yeah, they, they, were both they broke the, the 180. They broke the 180 rule with that. Um, so but I think if if I were to like. Remove that stuff and put it in here, this definitely could have been a four with their camera like it was it was solid. It was good. Lots of nice movements. No, like camera shakes, nothing, you know, kind of out of. Uh, but if we're wanting to go like next level stuff, like those are a couple of things that, that pulled it back for me. Uh, this was definitely a four for me. Uh, okay. I, I would have given it probably a five if those things I'm kind of on the same boat as you, but this is not just factory standard uh, like or industry standard mm, camera movements, yeah. the, the drone work, the cinematography they pulled in the gimbal shots, the above shots, all of the, the angles, the framing, all this is be above way above average. I'm changing. You're right. I'm changing my score. Okay. I'm going for it. You're right. You're right. Uh, you, you, you talked me into it. Okay. Yeah. Well, good. Well, I'm happy I did. I'm, I'm okay. good at talking you into stuff. I, I really do feel like they did a great job. Um, yes. What brought this down from a five for me was the little extras that are pulling me out of the film. Like the, uh, what the you said about like, fine. that toast lighting, they were looking at each other. One of them, I'm sure there was a reason they had to flip that in post. Um, but a lot of times too, and I know that this is kind of not your fault necessarily, but photographer in the background of the toasts a lot or little things happening that um, are just kind of that perfection, I think as a five, like you mm -hmm. just can't get any better. And so to me, I love the light, the hair light here. I, the angle is a little harsh, um, but um, yeah, those are the things like, I think all of it was way above. I like, I think it was great. So yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. So I'm, I'm moving up to a four. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I think that what I would point out on the, like I do, I will do a straight on angle like that from time to time, just because, um, on the toasts, what I think is, uh, missing maybe is just the way that it is lit. They're shooting into the light side of the face. Mm -hmm, if you noticed, mm -hmm. they're not yeah. shooting into the shadow side, um, on the toasts. So if the light was on the opposite side where there was more of a shadow on the side of the profile you saw, the, yeah. the image wouldn't that look nearly. Yeah, it just that looked that too flat have. is really yeah. what it came down to. Some of the best lighting I loved was like during that first look, like when it cut to the tighter shot of her face and mm -hmm. you got like this nice dramatic uh, lighting and stuff. So I'm not sure what happened or why or whatever, but toast lighting, that would have taken it over the top for me. Yeah. All right, next. Okay. Uh, audio and sound design. Um. Yeah. Uh, do you yeah. Mean to go? Sorry. Sorry. No audio and sound. I mean, it. It. Everything sounded good. You had sound effects whenever like stuff would happen. You know, like transitions. You know, you get kind of that zoom. You know, kind of stuff. Uh, worked really well. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say that this is a four as well. Um, as the last one, it was above what I think most people in the industry are doing when it comes to mm -hmm. sound. And uh, there was nothing. Everyone was mic'd. Everyone had a mic, good feeds, all that stuff. Nothing, um, I think, that would have elevated it that I heard to that five level. But I would, I would in, say solid yeah. four. I'm in agreement. I feel like this is way above average. It's so clean. Mm -hmm. There's no awkward audio anywhere. It, it's all like this. This film feels really technically clean to me uh that's yeah like, i'd agree like everything about it is like technically solid there's some shots or some things which are story related that they put in there um there was a couple of times like i think w w this was one first look with the dad inside the room correct mm. uh, yeah that this, was. Uh, it's getting into the sixth wedding but okay, i just want to yeah. make sure i wasn't critiquing but like um he turned around you couldn't see his face so well there's a couple of things like that on um but in sound wasn't like her sound wasn't like she wasn't mic'd that would have brought it up to me to like a five. I, I don't even mic the brides. So I, I would give myself a four on most of mine. So um yeah, overall on that four for me, editing Nick again, very, very solid. Very. Uh, I loved how um different little double exposures to the beat or little mm -hmm. things um, incorporating some of these luxurious angles at the right time. Um, what are your thoughts on your editing on the editing? Yeah. Um, I'm, 
I'm probably I'm I'm going to end up with another four on this one. Um, it's above average, above and beyond, um, and it's very very solid. But there, in the edit itself, there's nothing that takes it to that next level where I'm just like brain melted, you know, kind of yeah. kind of stuff while watching it. Like so much better than so much that's out there. Um, and maybe for this wedding, like there wasn't much more you could do. I I don't know, but but I was like, this is. Very, very good. Mm-hmm. Pumped for you guys. You got to put this all stuff, this this thing together. So yeah, I'm going to give it another four. Yeah, I, I agree. I have a four as well. I think that the fast cuts when needed, they weren't overdone. I think the showing mm-hmm. off of the luxury, the, the whole edit itself overall, just again, this entire film, so yeah. clean. Um, yeah. Such a great, uh, even across the board, just, next level on all the things definitely Um, looking at it it's to me like this is every bit of a ten thousand plus dollar film um and you know luxury or luxury it feels like you're in the big leagues when it comes to what you could charge Mm -hmm. um so yeah i love the drone work i love the uh yeah it's all it's it was it was really great um yeah on the editing like how it does slap love the color (laughs) there on that shot um Okay, next up would be story. story. You go um, first. Okay, I gave this one a three. The story was great. Uh, what you you had of it, there was, uh, it was just as good uh, as what I have seen in lots of films. Nothing about it really took me to a place where I was like, "This is better than what I'm." Um, but there was again, good story to it. I'm guessing that once you like, I know this much when you get into more of these higher end weddings, you don't get the couple for anything but what you can get them for. So I don't know that you could have done anything better with this story. Um, but to me, it wasn't like we uh, like we got to see stuff and hear stuff from the wedding day, which is great. I think you did a good job with it. There was just nothing taking it to that four level for me. So it's my first three. Yes. And I, I also had uh, three written down uh here as well i like you know their personal vows and some of that stuff and uh those things and i think that uh, you did a really good job of telling telling what it what happened on the wedding day and what it was on the wedding day um so that's i think that that's where i landed on that one uh is also three and a half honestly that would that would be a three and a half for me um I, yeah I, I think they did a really good job with with it but yeah. I second guess myself when I give a three when something's this solid. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I know. I know. So and I, then I'm borderline. And Sorry. then last on the color. Um man. There there again, the so much of this is so, so, so good. Um, and then it's just the again, getting into the reception stuff, it's just a little flatter a little I, I i don't know uh what it is i i'm not i i'm having a tough time i'm having an internal battle with with this one where where are you on the color <laughs> i gave it a four okay. um this is uh it, a lot of it is a five um on this film to me i think a lot of the colors are really um spot on um for what their market is who they're aiming for and telling this story a lot of mm-hmm. rich, beautiful highlights, a lot of uh, magentas and skin tones and uh, very upscale vibe to it. And I think the color um, helped tell the story that they wanted to tell. So to me, it was way better than uh, average. And But there wasn't anything taking it just over the top for me. There were some, like you said, there's some shots that are uh, like that color is great of the toast, the bride and mm-hmm. groom, um, the color of like the way that they worked with light outside, like all of this is really great. I can tell they brought in lights, but you're right on some of that reception. I think what it is, is like the room, the house lights need to come down or something or yeah, um, that would have helped something That's like that. Really it just got them. like that yellow, mm-hmm. uh, which, which they might not have had the ability. That color looks great on that yeah. shot. Like, so there's a lot of really, really good things. Uh, some of the shots had a little bit of a purple tone to them. Um, a little magenta in there that, didn't feel like it was matching so that's why Mm -hmm. i and at the end gave it a four which uh, yeah that's where i'm at i that that's good that's that's what i needed to hear i was you know kind of in that 
is this a four? Is it a three? You know, and then, and I'm, and I'm going for, and again, we're going back to that kind of what's industry standard. What are like people that, you know, what are other people doing that sort of stuff? And I think that that's, that's, this is above what that is. And so yes, I'm going to go sure. with a, I'm going to go with a four on that one. This so. whole film is definitely above. Um, I, I think it's interesting, not that any film is better than any other one, but like if this would have been the first film that we would have watched as a, you know, the one we watched right before with certain things that are like, you know, epic landscapes and different, like you have to, I'm trying my best to like with each yeah. specific film grade on a completely neutral curve. And if I'm just watching this film, this thing is, this slaps, as you would say, Nick. Um, all of it. No, I'm, screams. I'm too old to say that. I think. Yeah, you've you're definitely like 15 years too old to say that. Um, so I give mine. Uh, we have uh, four fours and a three, which is excellent. Which is a 19 wow. for me. Which I also have it. But you copied all my answers. I did. I that's why I wanted you to go first. I'm just a big copier. So uh -huh. Blake, if you can pull up those um, scores on the screen. John, this is another 38. It is. Which means. Uh, like the ones that show the 38 and the 40, whatever the. the 45. The awards yeah. or whatever. Yes. This so is this an one, honorable distinction. Yeah, definitely. For sure. Um, well so that that was great. Done. Well, um, well done. Wow. Yeah, it's like a like this is this is great. Like I, what I'm really excited about, Nick, with this is like we've had more and more people. Um, and we don't want this to be a place where like, if you got um, some twos on some things or anything like that, we want you to leave this motivated. Not that like, you're like, this is not a popularity contest. This is not a, but it's also a reality check and a way for us to help you see where you're at and get some self-awareness. Because I think that it's just so hard when you're in something to like, get some fresh perspective. And that's why there's Definitely. a, a wait list of people that want to get their films reviewed because getting that outside perspective can maybe give you a light bulb kind of moment. And even if you're, you know, not submitting a film or whatever, and you're just watching, uh, being able to have those and see those things and see how we're critiquing these uh, per category, you know, we may go back and watch these and give them better scores or worse scores or whatever. But in the moment watching these films, mm -hmm. um, you know, if you're, if you're needing that bump in your business or if you're needing that, um, you know, like submit a film, get out of your comfort zone. Like I was always too afraid to do it. Um, and I wish that I would have earlier cause it would have helped me. And so no film here, nobody watching that was live. Nobody in our group is going to be like, Ooh, that film was bad. We, or anything like that. Like, that's not the point It's to make somebody feel smaller. It's to help l level them up. And so inspired by some of these films. Um, and yeah, I just think it's a really cool, uh, grading system to kind of show areas you're doing well in and kind of really dissect film. So if you do like this and if you haven't uh, and you're watching this, be sure to hit the thumbs up on the YouTubes for the algorithms. Uh, Nick probably want to hit one more time. Um, yeah. Talk about Thanks. the fact that the, uh, the complete wedding videography course is coming out. Yeah. ASAP. I mean, yeah. the same. If, if any of you might be interested in that, the complete wedding videography course is being released on November the 14th in just a few short weeks. And so if you'd like to grab a free section of that, some BTS stuff that John does, and I believe our wedding day questionnaire all for free, I'm coughing. You talk. Just go to the link over there that maybe Blake will put in the chat, but it's completeweddingvideography.com. You can get a free section of that. And we also want to thank our sponsor for today, VidFlow. Um, how to film weddings.com slash vid flow. Um, nope. Is that wrong? You shook your head. No I'm, I, I'm not shaking my head. No, oh. you, my daughter just came in and interrupted oh. me. Okay. I was like, I think that's the link. No, no. uh, definitely want to thank the sponsor vid flow. Um, if yes. you guys like seeing these films, please do us a favor, leave a comment in the, in the comments and like it and all that good stuff. But we appreciate you guys. We got a lot of more free stuff coming along. Nick and mm -hmm. I are taking less weddings next year. Our busy season is over. So now we're able to like really lean into how to film weddings, which gets, gets us really, really stoked. So yeah, definitely. Well, I hope that uh, this was enjoyable to you guys, that you learned something. Um, mark your calendars, November the 17th. Well, hopefully that works with Blake. We haven't talked to Blake, but John and I talk. <laughs> Uh, uh, I think we're planning on trying another one November 17th. So a uh, week before Thanksgiving, um, but maybe not. We'll let you all know for sure. Uh, John, <laughs> this has been awesome. Thanks for all of you that submitted. Thanks for those of you that were in the chat guys until next time. We'll see you.
you guys.